Hi, in this Need to Know tutorial, we show you how to transfer digital Loveland Public Library audiobooks to your iPod so you can listen on the go. We will show you how to 1. Find iPod compatible content in our digital catalog, 2. Determine if your iPod is supported by Overdrive, and 3. Transfer your electronic content to your iPod. Unfortunately, not all of our content is available for transfer to iPods. However, all of the MP3 material can go on an iPod, as well as a growing number of WMA titles. The easiest way to locate appropriate material is to use the iPod compatible audiobooks and the MP3 audiobook links on the left side of the Front Range downloadable library website. You can see them right here. You can also look for the iPod symbol while searching or browsing the catalog. In addition, when you open up a title, you can look at the digital rights information and it will tell you whether or not it can be transferred to an Apple device. Go ahead and check out the book. Then, just plug in your player. To find out if your iPod is supported by OverDrive, you can check out their list of supported players on their website. We have a link to it in the Front Range Downloadable Library. Scroll down to the bottom and click on Supported Portable Devices. Now this is a list of all compatible devices, whether Apple or not. If you have an older iPod and it's hard for you to determine if it might be supported, the rule is if you have an iPod Classic, it must be 6th generation, about 2007 or later. With the iPod Nano, about 2nd generation or later. Any of the other models are new enough that they are supported. To transfer OverDrive audiobooks to your iPod, you need to have iTunes downloaded and installed. There's one option that needs to be changed in iTunes before you can transfer from OverDrive. You want to click on your iPod in iTunes under Devices, and on the Summary page, scroll down and make sure the Manually Manage Music button is checked. If it is, you're good to go. We can get rid of iTunes and head to our OverDrive Media Console. To transfer a book, we simply highlight the title that we want and click on Transfer. The wizard pops up, we click on Next. It's going to automatically search for your device if, and then pop up a screen where you can choose which parts to transfer to your device. Because your iPod may have much less storage space than your computer, you may only want to transfer one part at a time. And that's easy to do. OverDrive suggests that you transfer spoken audiobooks at a slightly lower quality than you may have your import settings set to. So I'm going to go in and change mine under Edit, Preferences, click on the General tab, and then Import Settings. Our AAC encoder needs to be set to Spoken Podcast. Let's head back to OverDrive and click on Next. And the transfer begins. After you transfer your title, OverDrive will prompt you to change your encoding settings back to what they were. So I'm going to go ahead and do that under Edit Preferences, Import Settings. I'm going to return it back to iTunes Plus. Now you should see the parts of your book listed under Books on your device. That's all there is to it. You can safely eject your device and you're ready to take your book with you on the go.